Hello and welcome to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten's VHS Tales. We're going to continue the made-for-TV horror theme. We're going to bring up one that goes back a long way with us. This one was always on a and &E, I remember. It was on a and &E TV. <laughs> Channel 20. Yeah. <laughs> the Night Gallery pilot episode. Du -du -du -du. We didn't know this was a TV show or no. a TV series because we never saw the show. They'd only ever aired the pilot episode. Yeah. And they always only advertised it as a movie. And we always thought that was just a that movie. We, yeah, and we always thought that that was it. We didn't know this was like a whole series that went on for years. Yeah. Uh, until like Adam bought the first season of The Night Gallery for me for my birthday. And that's when we knew it was like, holy shit, there's more! <laughs> and yeah, there's a lot more. There's more of this great horror out there. Rod Serling did it. You know, narrated it, he hosted it. Yeah. The same as The Twilight Zone. You're hooked right away. Yeah. So the format for Night Gallery is basically Rod Serling comes on, he unveils a painting. Yeah. And then there is a story about that painting. If anybody's seen The Simpsons Halloween yeah. episode, yeah. It, that's what they're parodying. The pilot episode is three different stories. The first one is called The Cemetery, and it's fucking great. It is legitimately scary. Horror-related things that actually scared me that I watched as a kid, this was one of them. There's this fucking stuck-up nephew who's got a rich <laughs> uncle, and he wants the inheritance. It puts him by the by the window. Yeah. To... A cold grass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Open the window. window. That shot where it's panning out yep. and the music is, it's fucking scary. You're watching this old man dying. Mm. Think about that, uncle. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love how, like, Roddy McDowell, how he plays the part too, right? Because he's such a fucking a, asshole. Such a scumbag yeah. prick, eh? And his uncle was a painter and he's painted all these paintings, and one of them is the outside of the house that includes this, the house front and part of the cemetery. He's, he keeps looking at this painting of the house, and he notices the painting's changing over time. That painting wasn't like that before! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, there's a plot there that wasn't there before that is for his uncle. Oh, come on now, Potter Ford! That wasn't like that! <laughs> Who's the butler, right? Aussie Davis. Yeah, as Portafoy. Oh, it's me, Portafoy. <laughs> Portafoy. Portafoy. After when he gets all the money and then he's all running around with all these women. You know, and the women yeah. He's all drinking all his brandy. He's super brandy. He's wearing that blouse, <laughs> that fucking blouse thing. Oh, it's man, Portafoy. Yeah. Why don't you just get back to whatever it is you were doing? <laughs> Every time he kind of looks at this painting, it changes and suddenly... The grave is undug. Mm -hmm. And then one night, a body in there, and the body starts coming towards the fucking house. Yeah. And the music that. <laughs> and he flips out, and he goes and grabs his uncle's painting, and he fucking falls down the stairs and breaks his neck. Yeah. And it's just Portafor who had come back to the house. And he sees. The plot. Back, back Jeremy. Jeremy! Back! Back, back, back Jeremy! Jeremy! Back in the grave where you belong! <laughs> <laughs> no! Then you see the door open and it's so fucking good! <laughs> then it goes to the second episode, right? It's, it's a great story, but it's just not as scary as the first one. It's a woman who's blind who gets like the first ever like eye transplant and the night she chooses to undo her bandages there's a blackout, and she thinks that the fucking surgery went wrong, and that she is still blind, and she's freaking out, yeah. and losing her mind, but she actually can see it. But the third episode, that scared me too. Yeah, and this one takes place in Argentina after the Second World War. Follow um, this... Uh, ex-Nazi. People are recognizing him. You're the butcher! Yeah. You're the man! And he, can, he can't he can escape his past, right? And he always goes to the museum and there's this one painting he's obsessed with. It's just a lone man on a canoe mm -hmm. on this lake by himself. There's one night where he's being chased by the police in the museum and he's like, please, 
please put me in the painting, please, I want to be in the painting. Uh, uh, and he's gone. Yeah. And the police come, and he's like, he's nowhere to be seen, and you hear this kind of... Uh, yeah, and they zoom in on the other painting, the, <laughs> the guy being kind of crucified, and he's in that painting. He went to the wrong Forever. One. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Fucking great. If you like, you know, Tales from the Crypt and mm -hmm. Trilogy of Terror and all that kind of stuff, you if you haven't seen Night Gallery, for Christ's sake, yeah. watch that pilot episode. Please check it out. It is gold it is complete gold and the acting the writing is so fucking good i don't think they ever managed to top that the first pilot one, episode yeah. and not just the pilot like all three but just the first episode of the pilot yeah i don't think they've ever managed to top that no <laughs> yeah. and then almost every sunday night that movie was on mm -hmm. tv and i'd watch it and i'd be scared <laughs> I know yeah. but still want to watch it like that I, I love that like I, I I'm kind of scared but I still want to watch it because it's that damn good so that concludes our our VHS tale of the pilot episode of the night gallery something that has gone down with us much since we were kids so that's it until next time keep drinking for <laughs>